Welcome to Prime Royal Monarchy. Dive into the world of royal intrigue and fascinating tales from the monarchy. From breaking news to exclusive insights, we bring you the latest on royal events, traditions, and behind-the-scenes stories. Subscribe for your front-row seat to the regal lifestyle. Prince Harry, the red-headed royal renegade, has chosen to return to England. However, he isn't heading towards Buckingham Palace, as one would expect. Instead, his destination is Althorpe, Princess Diana's childhood abode. It appears he is attempting to evoke sentiments of being a mama's boy from afar. Keep your fascinators on, because things are about to get interesting. Charles Spencer, who is Diana's brother and the present lord of Althorpe, essentially tells Harry that he can't do what he wants in his house. This entire situation feels like an incredibly uneasy family reunion taking place for everyone to see around the world. Shall we dissect this now? Harry, bless him, likely believed he was embarking on an emotional trip to rediscover his origins and perhaps find a stronger connection with his late mother. This would make for a heartwarming montage in any feel-good film, complete with sweeping string music and hazy camera shots. However, Charles Spencer refuses to accept the situation. He stands there with his arms folded, looking like a bouncer guarding an exclusive nightclub, saying, Apologies, my friend. Your name is not on our register. It's easy to picture how awkward that must feel, turning up uninvited to a party held at your mother's childhood home and being dismissed by none other than your uncle. What an uncomfortable scenario. I understand your thought process. Isn't family supposed to be the closest bond? However, in the royal household, it seems like while blood may run thicker than water, scandals overpower all familial ties. Harry has been quite open about exposing his family's secrets and controversies, almost as if he were promoting a cleaning supply on TV. He wrote an expose and gave numerous interviews, without any subtlety when discussing family affairs. What about Charles Spencer? He has been observing everything from a distance, perhaps sipping tea, and saying to himself, you won't do that in my house. At family gatherings, he is like the uncle who recollects every humiliating incident of your life and mentions it after having some sherry. However, it's not simply a dispute between Harry and Charles. This issue encompasses far more than that. It involves the legacy left behind, remaining faithful to one's beliefs and values while dealing with fame's repercussions. Althorpe holds much significance, too. It is beyond just an extravagant house with numerous rooms. Instead, it serves as a representation of Diana's early life before she became known as the People's Princess, where she envisioned her future amidst its walls frozen in time even after enduring grief-stricken experiences later on years ahead. What about Charles Spencer? He has taken on the role of preserving that heritage all by himself. His unwavering dedication to guarding Althorpe House in Northamptonshire is akin to Cerberus keeping watch over the gates of Hades. It's safe to assume he takes his responsibilities seriously. Imagine stepping into Charles's stylish footwear for a moment. Your nephew, who has been enjoying life in California and blurting out confidential family information like an incessant dripping tap, now desires to reside at the ancestral abode. What steps would you take? Would you go all out with welcoming him, or possibly consider if his stay may result in another addition to his literary works? Let's not overlook Harry in this situation. He is like a prince without his palace, attempting to rediscover his roots. The circumstances are reminiscent of Shakespearean tales where the wayward son comes back home only to be met with obstacles and challenges at every turn. One can't help but wonder what was going through his mind when he decided on such an endeavor.